welcome back. Today's video is another plus size curvy girl try on haul. I'm super excited because you guys recommended the store fashion to figure. So I did pick up a couple things to try on test out for you guys let you guys know my thoughts on the quality the prices everything. So before we jump into the video guys if you are new here hello hello and welcome my name is Rhonda and over here y'all we always embrace the hot mess because it's a judgment free drama free stress free zone where we are learning to love our figure our curves and we are not letting the numbers define us so hopefully you guys decide to stick around subscribe turn on your notification bell check me out over on my instagram i'm going to pop up a qr code over here for you guys if you just hold your smartphone up to that little qr code it'll prompt you right over to my instagram i also have a second channel which is very much beauty related makeup subscription unboxings all of that so check out my other channel as well hot mess mama md and let's go ahead and jump right in fashion figure is super uber new to me and as far as the sizes go on their website um just to give you guys like a little bit of a 411 as as far as their sizing goes it on theirs it's kind of similar to like torrid as far as the numbers go it says zero to a size of four and when i pull up their sizing chart which i will pop up over here for you guys um, their zeros, they are like around a size 12, and then their fours are about a size 26 to 28, just for reference for you guys. Of course, I will have my measurements down below for you guys. I have about 5'3 on a good day, my chest is a 38D, waist is a 36, and my hips are a 47, just, just so you guys know. And again, I will have everything linked and listed down below for you guys. I did not pick up a ton of stuff. Um, just because again, I've never tried this company out before, but I figured I'd pick up a few pieces just to kind of get an idea of how everything fits. They do have an excellent return policy, which for me is very important. When it comes to shopping online, I feel like with the way my body is, it's, you know, it's a bit of a struggle. And then going in person, which there are no uh, like shops around me here in Kentucky, um, but I I'm just not one to do any type of indoor shopping. So as far as the first item, um, I kind of am in love with this particular top, which is from Torrid. It's one of those like see-through sheer type of tops. I just have a Torrid Raw underneath of it. You can obviously your tank if you want, but I found this like tie-dye type of sheer top. Again, I'm going to put all of this together for you guys as far as an outfit in the try-on portion. But again, it is like this really cozy. I am a very much texture funny person when it comes to anything and everything in life. It has to be comfortable. So this material is super nice, super cozy, super soft, nice um, like give to and stretch to the material. It is again the see-through type of material and I love these mock turtlenecks and that's what this is. I did pick it up in a size zero. Um, I did find this on sale Plus, I had, I think, like a $10 off, $10, $10 off coupon. If I can find that code, I will have everything linked and listed down below for you guys. So, I'm in love. Now, this one has, like, did the other one, did I miss it? This one has, like, little finger holies, which I think is so cute. This one has the finger holes, so I can, you know, cover your arms up a little bit more. Again, I love this. I did just kind of, you know, pair it. I didn't tuck it in this time, but I paired it with my Torrid buttoned-up jeans. Um, as far as my jeans go from Torrid, the button-ups, I always go up a size. So my jeans are 14 regular, but... Again, guys, I don't have a tank under it. You definitely could if you wanted to. Um, I just have, again, the I can't stop talking about it, Torrid wireless bra. But I love this. And again, it's one of those pieces you could wear it alone or as an accent. You could put a cute little denim jacket over it. You could pair it with a black pair of leggings, moto pants, a really cute, ooh, what if there was like a, a cute black flowy skirt or even a sexy like pencil type of skirt. Oh my gosh, versatile top. 
versatile top and hopefully this is still available. I did notice that I feel like some of their pieces go pretty fast here so I will link everything I possibly can down below for you guys. I thought this was like great for funsies and again I have a beauty channel and I thought ooh, this would look so cute on camera. <laughs> So again, sticking with kind of that um, stretchy material. Now this does not have as much give. I, I meant to say sticking with the see-through material, not stretchy material. So this does not have as much give on it. This definitely looks like it's going to be more of a fitting type of top. I don't know how it's gonna be in the sleeve area. Again, this is a zero and I did go off of my measurements um, as far as like my chest went and everything. Um, so we will definitely be trying that on, but I thought it was fun with all like the $100 bills on it. Like <laughs> how cute, you know? You guys, this is a size zero. I did not think it was going to have the stretch or give that I was hoping for, and it does, and I love it. I just paired it with a pair of high-waisted button-up jeans from Torrid. I tucked it in to kind of cinch in like that hourglass type of look. You guys, I am absolutely in love with this top. This, again, was on sale. I love the length of the sleeves, everything. This is just, it's one of those pieces I think would be an excellent accent. Like if you wanted to wear like a pair of black moto leggings, pair it with a denim jacket or even a black blazer jacket. I'm on the hunt for one on sale, to go on sale at Torrid. Ooh, I saw Torrid had a hot pink like hot pink one a while back and I missed out on it. This is the perfect accent piece. I don't have a tank under it. I just have my wireless uh, toward bra. You guys, it just, look at how it makes the girls look so nice. And I don't have to like have them up to here and pay like, you know, an arm and a leg for the Victoria's Secret and be uncomfortable and get poked in like, you know, three to six months. No, no, you just, you get yourself a wireless toward bra brings the girls in, makes them look, we just see, we just see. That's not what this is about, it is about this top. This is cozy. You guys know when I did the unboxing or unbagging of this, I did not, I, my expectations, I love this. Honestly, this is my favorite piece so far. This is my favorite piece so far. I absolutely love this and again, Perfect accent piece. You could wear it alone for sure. Put a nice little denim jacket over it as well if you want it. And it, this is a vibe. I am in love. So far, if you're picking up anything, y'all get this. It's cute. It's really freaking cute. I happy. Okay, so the next item, I don't even remember picking this up, to be honest with you guys. I, I have, oh, again, it's sheer. It is sheer, and I thought this could be really fun. <laughs> it's a, like a dress, but it's a button down sheer type of material, and obviously you can see right through it, but I have thoughts on how to style this, so bear with me, guys. I did get this one. I got this one in a zero as well, so it's definitely like an oversized type of top, and it's a nice oversized button down sheer dress. I love this. Now, the material, I thought, honestly, I thought it was gonna be like a super itchy type of material. It is not. It's a little more oversized than I expected. I just paired it with my Fashion Nova tank top dress. And for full effect, can you guys see? Like, isn't that cute? You could do a different color too if you wanted. Like you could go with cream, you could do black, you could do like a camel tan type of color. But it's really pretty and it's one of those things where I feel like, like I told you guys with this Fashion Nova dress, it's just like that ribbed tank top dress you could like just dress this that dress up with this you could completely unbutton this and have it as like a cute almost like an overcoat type of thing so if i had paired hold on this chord top like 
you know what I mean? Could we do something like that and use this as like a jacket thing with a pair of jeans even? That would be kind of cute, dress it up a little bit. It's just a little extra, but I think it's pretty cute. I do think it is pretty cute and it's cozy and I like that it's not that itchy type of material because that's kind of what I was expecting, but it's good. So if you guys don't know, my favorite color is pink, okay? So they had this really cute, fun loungewear set. And this is in like highlighter freaking pink and it just looks so precious. So um, I did go ahead and get it in a zero. It is kind of a crop style, long sleeve, lightweight sweater type of material. The top I did purchase in a zero and it does have a little bit of like, like that ruching there as you guys can see where I thought, can you tighten this? Oh, you can. You can shorten it if you want. So that was kind of what I was thinking. So I, I, again, I've never tried this brand on before, but as far as this zero, it's supposed to be kind of an extra large, like a, a size 12. So looks small, but we'll see. I did get the matching bottoms to it. I'm going to be like a straight up pink highlighter and I am living for it. So again, my thought process in here, if you guys don't know, I, again, very texture funny. I don't like things to be like sucking me in. I don't want to feel things, you know what I mean? I want to be comfortable in my clothes. I am I have surpassed the stilettos and the spikes. okay? Where I'm at in my life, I want to be cute, but I want to be cozy. And that's all that matters to me. So I did size up and go with a size one for the pants. They have pockets, like real pockets. And again, it's that soft, like sweater-like material. Good stretch to it. The pants do, instead of like widening out at the bottom, they do kind of like cinch in. And then again, they have the little ribbon here, which is just for looks. It's not to tighten up or anything like that. Um, but it does untie so if you want to make the bows bigger we can definitely do that so my thought process on this cutesy little outfit is like you see that whole skims where they're doing like that sweater material but it's kind of thick and it's kind of bulky I don't really like that because I feel like I don't know like I like that whole the way it would feel to wear a blanket but I don't want to totally look like you know I put a couple stitches in and made a blanket and like a pair of pants out of a blanket you know what I mean so here is the first outfit it is the bright pink highlighter set now again the top is in a zero and it fits okay it I feel like it fits the way it's probably supposed to but I don't like the way it feels under the armpits. I feel like it kind of comes up higher than what I like. And I think that's probably to do with the fact that sometimes I wear a lot of oversized clothes. So I did kind of tie this up a little bit. You could take it higher if you wanted to show off more of like a midriff curvy type of look, which again is super cute. And I think that if that is the way you're wearing it, go very much true to size for the top. Um, if you, and one thing I want to point out, the bra is definitely helping to smooth this area out, but I love the way this is cut where it's a little bit longer, kind of like a high low for this. If you were going like with, um, cinching it up a little bit higher, it goes long enough to where it's not going to show any of like your extra low back there, you know what I'm saying? That little extra trunk. So that I definitely like. I like the length of the sleeves. Um, I think they're really comfortable as far as that goes. Again, I'm 5'3 on a good day. Let's talk about the pants. Now, as far as the pants goes, I did go with a one. As you can see right through here, they're a little too big. So I should have sized down to a zero. Um, again, I was going for comfort uh, so things weren't too like restricted on me. But this does, it's just a little too much. It's a little too much. Um, I think a zero would have been perfect. I love the fact that they're real pockets and I use pockets, you know, but again, it just kind of looks like I've got like a kangaroo pouch right through here. I don't like that. I love the ankle part. Let me show you guys that. 
As far as the ankle part goes, I love that. I would definitely have to tie the little ribbon or the bows, whatever, a little bit more as far as that goes because I am walking on them. But as far as the comfort of this outfit goes, I love it. I love the color. And again, I would say this is definitely true to size. Just unfortunately, the pants are a little too big. But I really like them. Like, I really, really like this outfit. It came in different colors, too. I'll have it linked below for you guys. Let's talk about my final thoughts, first impressions on fashion to figure. I'm a longtime customer, guys. I will continue to go back. I will continue to shop them. Thank you to you guys who recommended fashion to figure. I really like their styles and it was funny because my first thought when I started checking over the website and just kind of keeping an eye on things I was like you know I don't know if this is gonna kind of be like my style of clothing you guys it is pick something up be surprised like honestly like this I never in a million years would have like gone into a store and picked this off the clothing rack but I freaking love it on. I loved everything on about it. And as far as their sizing goes at Fashion to Figure, I, again, first impressions, I'm like, ooh, this looks like it's gonna be small. It fit perfect. So I would definitely say they are consistent on the few pieces that I tried. Definitely consistent as far as their sizing goes. I would say definitely true to sizing because again, with the sizing chart, I'll try and pop up over here for you guys. I went with what my measurements were and are, and I didn't feel like I had any issue whatsoever. The only issue I had was with the pink outfit, but that was more of a me thing you know that was more of a I sized up because I ha I get over like overwhelmed with like things touching me this by the way um it's not like a suck you in type of material it's a very forgiving stretchy material just like this one and again like I told you guys look at this I thought this was going to be too narrow and too form fitting, too tight. It's a very forgiving, stretchy, comfortable material. So as far as the tops go, I would definitely recommend both of these. I think that this is really cute and I did like it and I like that I could pair it with a bunch of different things. But I don't, I'm not in love. I'm not in love with it like I am with these. These have rocked my world. I'm super excited about them. The pink outfit, again, that was a me problem, not so much their problem. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, I would definitely recommend trying out Fashion to Figure if you guys are interested. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I did purchase everything with my own money. I do forget to tell you guys that. Trust me, if your girl gets a sponsorship over here, <laughs> Just like on the other channel, I'm going to be freaking geeking and overexcited about it, and I will be letting you guys know. So, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Also, as always, leave recommendations of other plus-size curvy stores that I need to check out. As far as my Torrid Leopard Top, um, I will look for it. It has actually been on clearance for, like, $15 or something. These mock turtlenecks, you guys, are just, I don't know why, but I just feel so sophisticated, but yet edgy at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, I just love them. So, if this is still available at Torrid, I will link it down below, of course, with the wireless bra and the jeans. Super cozy. Love the jeans. And everything from Fashion to Figure will be linked down below for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video enough to stick around, subscribe, join the family journey. Jane, join my journey on not letting the numbers on the scale or in my britches define me. Anyways, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye, guys.